Hey guys, uh, I'm Cameron Sharp. I am a musical theatre performer. Uh, and alongside that, I also run a small business recording vocal reels for people. And, uh, and my business is called Vocal Demos. And today I'm going to do a little masterclass teaching you how to set up a home recording studio, what equipment you'll need, and uh, a little quick run through how to record a vocal take uh, and edit it so that if you wanted to do a recording of you singing at home, hopefully you can use some of the tips in this video and they will help you. I've got five minutes and there's a hell of a lot of stuff to get through, so wish me luck. First things first, microphone. This is an Audio-Technica AT2035. Okay, that's just the mic that I choose to use. It's a condenser, cardioid condenser microphone. That's what you need for recording at home, okay? Oh, you can also get a, a USB mic that goes straight into your laptop. They're not generally as good quality, but if you Google and search some forums about them, there will be people comparing them. I prefer to use this method. It gives you a lot more control and you get a better end result. Uh, so any condenser microphone, have a Google, see what you can afford, see what you like. Next up, we have our audio interface, okay? Now this thing, the microphone goes into this, this goes into your laptop. So this is what makes the sound go from the waves that have gone into the microphone into something that your laptop can process. It's called an audio interface. Again, loads of different types of them. I use the PreSonus one. There's a Scarlett one that a lot of people use. Get yourself an audio interface. If you're using a USB mic, you skip this stage out, okay? Now to connect those two together, you need a mic lead, okay? Now this is an XLR cable, technically, and as you can see, there are two different ends. This is called the female end, this is called the male end. One has holes, one has pins. I didn't come up with that, that's the truth. Now we get to the mic stand. I use a straight mic stand. This is called a pop shield. It stops all the air from making a noise on the microphone. And I also use this fun thing, which is called a reflection filter. These are optional add-ons, but they really make a difference to the sound you're gonna get. Male end of your XLR cable goes right into the first input on your box, nice and easy. The female end goes into your microphone. Now we need to plug that into our laptop. It comes with this cable. This goes in the back of the interface. USB goes into your laptop, nice and simple. As you can see now it's plugged in, the little light has come on. Important thing, this little 48 volt button needs to be on. That is called phantom power. This sends power back to your microphone. Without that turned on, you won't get any sound coming into your computer. So your four, it says 48 volts on here or phantom power on. And finally, your headphones. Uh, you can set this up in different ways on your laptop. Uh, I use the headphones coming straight out of the interface. I had to buy a little mini jack to big jack adapter and that just plugs into the back of the interface where it says phones. Okay, so now we get on to the actual recording. I'm using Logic Pro 10. We're gonna create an audio track, um, which is this one here, and I'm gonna give us I'm gonna give us two tracks because that's how many we need. We need one for the music and one for my voice. That's it. Uh, input, I can change so that they're input one, um, which is the one you saw me plug in on the interface earlier, and then we create. What we will be doing is Pressing record, nice and simple. That will give us a little count in. And once we start, as you'll see, you can see these little waves. If I drag this thing here, it makes it bigger. Um, and that shows that we're recording some sound. As a rule, when recording, you want to keep this volume here down at around minus 18 as an average, which is here. So I'm slightly above that at the moment where I'm talking. Then we're going to boost it with a compressor. Basically, you want to be about this far away from the pop shield, which is in front of the microphone. You can play with that. This sounds quite intimate, so I might get a little bit closer. Uh, when I record this take now, you'll be able to obviously hear me, but you won't be able to hear the music because it's in here. I'm probably going to do about three takes, but you're not going to see all of that. When you record a second take, you just record straight over the top of your first one uh, on Logic Pro and on GarageBand, and it creates a new uh, take within it. And then I'll show you, you can jump between them. So you just record over the top of what you've already done. Okay, so here we go. 
I could find the whole meaning of life in those sad eyes. They've seen things you never quite say, but I hear. Cool, so I've done my few takes, and now I'm going to take you back into a screen recording just to show you how to do a quick edit. Here we go. Okay, so super quick edit time. Here we go. You can see that uh, these are all the takes I did. I did five takes. Quick listen. I could find the whole meaning of life in those sad then I wanted to jump up to this take, that one was here, down on take one. To move, you just highlight one, and it will play that take. This was the one that I liked of that section, so that's where we're going to go next. And you can neaten these up. All you do is click and drag, click and drag on each take. One, two, three, four, five. This is what's called the comp now, because we have a version that I like. These are different lines from different takes, all mashed together. Now, effects. Audio effects here. Let's go uh, Dynamics, Compressor. This boosts the sound. There's loads of defaults on here, so I'm just going to use Studio Vocal. Uh, I'm going to play around with this. They boost the volume of the voice. I could find the whole meaning of life. There we go, lovely. A bit of a reverb. I like Platinum Verb. Play around with these. There are loads of different types. I'm just going to put Big Room. Sad just gives it a bit more space. Things you never quite see. Now I'm going to go away and play with that and get back to you. Bye. Now to export the file, you highlight the section that you want to export, which might be the whole song or might just be a little bit, as it is this time. You go File, Bounce, Project or Section. We're going to do an MP3 at uh, the highest quality there is, and then you'll press OK, Bounce, and then... There we go. Done. So I hope that was useful, guys. I'm going to leave you now with a little bit of the track that we recorded. I'm sure you have tons of questions. Get on YouTube, get on Google. It knows everything. If not, try and get them to me. Um, and enjoy the rest of the messages. Cheers, guys. Come out of hiding, I'm right here beside you. And I'll stay there as long as you'll let me Because you matter to me Simple and plain and not much to ask from somebody